today we're gonna play Pokemon Reminiscence. I realized that I said it wrong last time, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know how to speak. Last time where we left off was when they embarked into a journey. When they went on the boat, they got the boat back. Now they're dipping. I realize they have like a this different um intro. Look at this. It's like an, another animation. It's just Lucius reading his book like a nerd, man. As the illusions and Fione embarked. Fuck. <laughs> I clicked the B button. Now turn to support. You mean the board? Um, if you don't know what the terms, just say right or left. Fine, but listen to me. Uh, this current. Finally, use confusing right in that direction. Yeah, but there are no Pokemon there. There will be some when they discover that they can approach quickly if they go with the flow. The wind's blowing usually towards the west. The sea usually seems to be against us. Also, keep Holy Bill around. If you feel anything out of the ordinary, let me know immediately. <laughs> Mr. Anthony, back to stupor or whatever you say. Okay, where are we going again anyway? To the island of the third, and its name indicates it is a third of the guardian birds. And turn this way again if I only one more confusing right on the other side. At least he knows what he's doing. We haven't caught a single dangerous Pokemon, and we've left Storm's Clouds behind like he knew they were coming. The Garden of the Sea, Logia, and the King of the Sea, Kyogre. Later, I should ask Lucius about what, ex what role they play. Look over there, you can see Solid Land. We're almost there. Lucius can get it. What do you mean Lucius can get it? No, I I honestly thought Lucius was like a twink all this time. Like a fanboy guy, you know? And it's so hard to believe that it's a girl. I'm like, wait, it, it looks like a boy. Because I think he said, I think he called him him. And then they changed it to her. And I was like, okay, which of the both? Him or her? Or he just or he just calls him her in front of the lady? Just because, why not? Is this funny to mess with a drunk lady? Well, we arrived. Where do we find the garden of the island? Huh, well, honestly... Uh, I don't know. Here the fish and the scars and the crops are poor. Please understand that I do not visit this place frequently and therefore do not know the third too well. Guardian of the Sea leaves the most needy island unintended. See? You say that as if there is something to be done about it. With what magic do you want me to use to make magic carp appear around? Oh, and excuse me for being the guardian of the sea and not knowing about how to farm the land. God, no, there's something. No, there is a period. No, no. These two don't seem to know anything. We'll have to ask around to see if anyone has seen the guardian. Come on, there's someone right there. Who's that? Uh, <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. You, you seem busy. You don't know, uh, to know where we can find this the third? <laughs> how, do you, how do you boys this, y'all? Huh, the third is also capable of altering her form. Is it possible that she is better known uh, by her human name? Yeah, um, which one was it? Uh, something that started with Mo? Morka, Morpha, Mora. Oh, I remember! It was Moira! Mora, where? Oh, uh, yeah, your reactor. Yes, we need um. You, you, who are you? It's not that you brought what I ordered. Mora doesn't know anything, right? What? No, we are not merchants. As I was about to say, we need to talk to her. And please respect my personal space. Uh, okay, calm down. Flint, it's okay. Um, I'll be all over soon. Liz, are you okay? Excuse me, my name is Flint. I hold a position of a uh, boss among the miners of Ponto's Island. I can take you tomorrow if you want, but hurry. I'm waiting for some materials and I need to keep an eye on the port. Craggy, oh, look at that. It's fun as Craggy. I'm not going to run after him. Anyway, at least I, it was easy to find her. That man says straight things, please. And he had a bit of a bad face. A little? Just... Let's steal his stuff! It's hard enough, y'all. We're gonna be robbers from now on. You have any wishes you want to fulfill? I would like to be able to try to kick one day. Why would I want something so simple? Maybe it's not so simple for her, you know? Come on, answer him. What will you what will be your wish? I wish I could eat magic card without having to catch them and pay for them. What's with that face? It's yours then. It's a secret. No, say it. No, you must say it. Nobody has asked Fioni, so Fioni wishes they wouldn't ignore her. <laughs> for Fioni. Oh look, it's a chimchar. The human with you has red hair like me. Maybe he's related to me. Do you remember being familiar with any monkey Pokemon, Mr. Anthony? Well, what are you saying? <laughs> he's a father. No, he's related to me, Chimchar. Back off. Look, we look the same. It's just like he's he got a little tan, you know, from being too much in the farm. Hi, Charlie, to an arm wrestling match. Come on. Pulse Primal. It's a game. It looks like the guy um wants to, like, test his strain with you. Oh, then wait until I'm in my Pokemon form. That would be cheating. But, well, I'm still trying. I'm still trying. Look, sis, have you even tried? Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm still in shape. I wish I was in shape. Pokemon shape. We're walking in this guy's house. What now? I was thinking that it might not be an idea for Pokemon houses to have doors like this. Maybe the most useless Pokemon like Fiona could sleep better at night. 
I will propose it to your majesty. You will praise me for thinking about your well-being of my neighbor. Kagura knows very well that the master does all these things out of interest. But you know, mind your own business. He literally just proved it. Are you from outside? What envy? Is that how you say it? Envy or envy? How many places have you visited? I have traveled to several regions. Kalos and Gather are my favorite. One server has only been to Jodo and I will swear that Fiona has never left the archipelago. Thick. Another important question, which of them has the best food? Which one has the best food, y'all? What, Like, what region do y'all think will be the best food? I think it will be, like, the Alula region because... What was that girl with the green hair girl? She, she would, like, make a lot of food. It was more about food things, you know? Carlos, without a doubt. I wouldn't know how to answer you. It very depend on the Pokemon's diet. Don't you Pokemon know how to cook? Nothing beyond mixing the ingredients, I will say. That's why we sometimes steal food. It has been including in the we stole. I've seen that Pokemon, blue Pokemon, behold. Oh, I know. It's one of those Amazon plays with sometimes. Taste some berries. Bitter very nice, but I like it a lot. Hee hee hee. Delicious. have some berries. I like it. Uh, depending on you right with. <laughs> Look how easy it is to tease him. <laughs> he gets happy as with that. <laughs> Fiona knows of some Pokemon that try to build houses similar to those of humans. Oh yeah, I guess the best way to prove shelter after all. They still don't have doors. Now that I think about it, I guess it wouldn't be too difficult for Pokemon to break them. Indeed, hands of freedom to wander and leave them as we please. You know, it's kind of scary that a Lugia will like, will like walk into your house and it's like a Lugia form. Is this gold? If they're separated it from the rest, it must be valuable. Oh, it's the first time Fiona has seen something so shiny. What will you do with, with this will worry yours? Fiona will trade it to the prettiest accessory she can find. How about you? I will probably spend it on re renovations for my house or the garden. I will buy a lot of new books or I will import a boring flower and vegetable seeds. Ahem. <clears throat> and that's what I, you would do? If it were your property in the first place and if we were gold in the second place, it is pirate and mineral of the little value quite common in volcanic tearing fool's gold. Very fitting for the guardian of the sea to be the party pooper. Consider the payback for keeping me out of the conversation. There's always a pooper in the party. <laughs> I have seen, uh, have you seen a lot of the stones around here? Do you sell them? We try, yes. They are a good construction material, but as you know, it is something that can be found anywhere. In other words, your soul is not going very well. Correct. We are looking for alternatives, so if you have any ideas, it will be welcome. Why don't you use them as an anti-aircraft weapon against a bird Pokemon? Excuse me? What would we gain from that. Dominance. Don't pay attention to him. <laughs> I like how Liz is like, yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta go to walk in the room and, and like assert your dominance. Like Lucius will be the kind of guy who will like literally T pose on you and like assert his dominance. Oh, and what will happen if any of these people were in possession of some forbidden object? They must be investigated right now. That's right, but it doesn't work. I should have gone out today with an umbrella. The ash is ruining my hair. Ugh. And you don't have a spare one for me? I am in the same situation. It is like any consol- It's any consolation. Being an albino doesn't show much. Oh, you look like you're getting gray hair. Um, <clears throat> Don't you have a third umbrella, miss? The only one is if among all of the Fionis, we could get one of these little houses. I'm afraid you will need money. Oh, Fiona will have a hard time getting that. So you're less- Never! Okay, so I'm assuming we should supposed to go here. Wee. Hey, Mora, uh, you have company. Oh, damn, she's a baddie. Oh, what the hell? Never mind, she looks like... She looks like a really happy girl. Anyways, hee <laughs> hee, good hunting guest, sir. I'm pleased to see you looking well. Uh, we need... Ooh, what good muscles. Yes, what do you do, strong man? To get angry with those who get too close to me for no apparent reason. Boo, it's kind of scary, friend. Yeah, uh, they say they needed something from you. Oh, you brought me potential business collaborated? You're amazing, play son. Today, I'll give you a promotion. I'll make things up, please. No promotion. That's the equivalent of spending more and time in mine. Um, <clears throat> Come on, but if the luck is also there... No, this is here. Uh, what a shame. If it's about him, I can't refuse Nata. Well, what are you worried about? Don't talk with your mouth full for starters. Mr. Anthony, if I may. We require that you give us one of the pearls that we use to make uh, my rosary and imbuing power in it. Why? Have you have enough of him and want another one? There is none of your business, just do it. What a remedy. It's not like we had much to do with all the up obsidianite that's left over. At least we'll get rid of the chunk of it. Hey, and um, aren't they like ordinary pearls? Nope, that's part of my rosary. It's made of the type of stone that retains heat very well. It is a native stone of the island and our main source of exports. Not to mention the only one. I know them, they're very popular in the Talaza Island. Since it is cold there all year around. Yes, although we haven't been able to sell the last batch, I wonder if the first considers that the Obsidian Knights are no longer of sufficient in quality to buy them from us. Has something happened? We can answer directly if we pass by. According to Lucius, we will also need your collaboration to repair the rose area anyway. Mr. Anthony, can we just keep quiet? Fix it? What do you mean? In the 
guess your Rosary is broken and he cannot transform into his Pokemon form without it. Peony! <laughs> if it's broken, then, then you're going to pay me back. Hey, you. I'm not going to pay you anything, third. The problem is already out of control and I have to solve it as, as soon as it's possible. Cooperate! Sorry, handsome. That's not my problem. If you need anything, give me a hand first with my financial problems. I need money, dinero, to import food and medicine from other places. Nothing can be grown on the island. But that's not my problem either. You won't put so much effort into it when the terrain of volcanoes is really fertile. How do you say? Is this why you read the natural sciences book? I better start parking with her. She doesn't have the upper hand. Uh, and since the man has plummeted, the price is not through the roof. It will be like a hundred thousand uh, pokey quarters. Please, and thank you. And this one is the economics one. Mr. Anthony from Mr. So if you only exchange the pearl and your bow from the buck pebble. Got no way from it. We'll go to the grave with her little bow. Very well. There's only one option left then. I'll take it myself. Oh no, don't even think about it. Ah! <laughs> Got Mr. Lucius! <gasps> there he goes, he has transformed into a real Pokemon. Hehehe, <laughs> yeah, this strong men's face is it all. If you can use your tax, you will do what I tell you. And if you can't buy the Obsidianite, you have to work in the mine to earn it. Oh no more pick this. <laughs> What did he think? How can he act selfishly at times like this? I don't care. The work in the mine will pay for what you need. I'll accompany you myself to make sure you don't get tired. I imagine you arrive tired, so better start tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. <gasps> Not so fast. We haven't agreed on anything yet. Why don't Why don't you say anything, Mr. Anthony? Don't you want to work in the dark mine? Me? Of course not. But the interested party is you, and I'm not going to break rocks for you. Learn to earn money on your own. We are going to encourage Master Lizard as best as she can. No, it must be a joke. I want to have to end this form. <laughs> well, that said, let's see each other further. You have to go to the east of the village to get there. It's good. We'll see you there. Oh, someone finished me. Damn, bro. We almost witnessed Lucy's dying, bro. That's kind of funny. Oh, look at Scraggy. Oh. The good thing is asleep. This Pokemon likes to headbutt everything he finds. I think he was with Fun at the port. See his assistance the same? Oh, maybe like Fiona and serves only a mortal support. Fiona is useful. No, forget it. Fiona isn't, isn't even good at that. <laughs> for Fiona. Fiona deserves more credit, y'all. Justice for Fiona. Oh, let's just dip. Fuck. Y'all wanna go invade someone's house? I'm so down for that shit. Ah! Ah! I don't want to, y'all. This is pain. Last time, every time we do this, y'all, I always gotta die like at least 20 times. Okay, what Pokemon am I getting? <laughs> Notice the disappointment in my face. She got me mentally stressing. Since when does Froakie even fucking nose rock throw? This Pokemon? Look, Mr. Anthony, this Pokemon is in alarm state. Yes, I see it. I know what to do. Seems that he was quite eager to explain it to me. <clears throat> well, a reminder wouldn't hurt, Mr. Sea Guardian. When the Pokemon's alarm state, it will take half damage and cannot be replaced by another state in a conventional way. For the status to be removed, he must attack with a move that is not expected at all, and it can affect the move against him. And during the next attack, the Pokemon will take 10% more damage. Any questions? No, that's enough. Thank you very much. <coughs> And what do I do against normal type Pokemon since they have no ineffective moves against them? Easy, use another normal type move. I understand. Uh, what would I do without you, Garden of the Sea? <laughs> right? Shut up now. No, but I mean, that means, that means, that means, uh, it's gonna take me more damage. Ow. Fedora, you're gonna win this time. Do not disappoint me. What, bro? Oh my god, no fucking way. No fucking way. Dora, Dora, you're getting out of my team. You're getting out of here. How can that bird be so oblivious? It seems like I'm the only one who cares about his majesty here. Your majesty. Oh, that's right, Kyogre. I've been wanting to ask you about him for a while. He's known as the king of the sea, right? Can you explain it to me? Uh, what that has to do with all of this? True, you are not very informed of this topic. Let me explain. I already told you about Prana, right? Your majesty, Kyogre. The flow prana constant through uh, what we call the cycle. This can be interrupted or altered by certain circumstances affecting living beings as in happening right now. For example, the prana returned by someone who contaminated the cycle of their memories before dying or a people or their suffer on their deathbed. Normally, this does not present a problem in individual. Okay, this is fucking nerdy shit. This is fucking nerdy shit. I'm not a nerd. 
normally this does not present a problem in individual situations, but it can be worrying if a catastrophe uh, occurs that could endanger the lives of many people or Pokemon at once. His Majesty cannot prevent all these unfortunate events by himself, while the guardians of the sea and the islands exist. The Fionis help too! Yes, well, especially to prevent Kyogre from losing his sanity due to the work of the guardians. You are all weirdos. How do you say? Nothing, nothing. Huh. So there are many from Fana Bubbles because something worrying has happened somewhere and you have noticed? It's a possibility. Another possibility will be that something happened to Rex Kyogre. That's impossible. No one would dare to do anything to your majesty. I understand. <laughs> I guess even so, uh, they can always be on top of everything. I wish that that time. Hey, Mr. Anthony, please give me a couple of berries in exchange for the information. I need a strength to walk. Okay, but only one. We have to ration the ones that are left better because Fioni eats a lot for being so small. But, but, but Fioni hasn't eaten, eaten any yet. Lucy, have you been putting your big pants in my bag? Don't look at me. Watch your Pokemon better. The Pokemon are left in their Pokeballs. You, you could at least offer some, some to Fioni, who works harder than you. Gah. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Next time you need a revive and not a berry. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, he's serious about the berries. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a Pokemon because my Pokemon's are done. Oh, Chikorita. Oh my god. What the fuck? Ta ta tan the mouse. Tan the mouse. Let's use this. Let's just give him. Kadora, get the fuck out of here. You have disappointed me. Oh my god, it's this bitch. It's that bitch. That bitch beat the shit out of me last time. Remember the flashbacks? Remember the flashbacks of my trauma? Ooh, we're taking them off all about. We ain't losing that shit. Already, y'all. Okay, Litten. Meow! Like, we're Litten. It's gonna be like a cat fight. You guys like cat fights, right? What? I hate how painful it can be, okay? Come to this way. Whoa, let's go! I made it to the next city! Let's fucking go! Oh, that must be uh that must be the mine. Now let's find somewhere to sleep until tomorrow. I assume we will have to camp outside. There is a house right next door. Let's let's ask if we can spend the night over there. I'm glad to hear it. I don't mind sleeping outside also. The ash can be a bit annoying. The ash? Ash ketchup who la Oh! Come on, a rock rough! You're sniffing me? I hope you don't drool, Mr. Ruckruff. Oh, look at Ruckruff! Ruckruff's so cute. It's a, it's a rock type. Oh, it's Mog, little one. Why are you so upset? Excuse us for making noise so late. We are here because Moira uh, gave us a job out of mine tomorrow, and we wanted to arrive in time to rest first. Oh, say no more. This Moira doesn't miss any opportunity, huh? Don't worry. You can sleep tonight at my house. Oh, uh, why did I tell you about the slime? <laughs> it seems that Rocker has like your little friend. I thought it was mad. I thought it was mad. Like the dog was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. like literally barked so loud. Fuck. <laughs> I always click the wrong button. So what's happened to you? Typical of Moira. Nothing has changed. Are you are you someone you know? Of course, I'm from every resident of the island. Enjoy talking to all of us and finding out we are okay. In addition, he makes sure that we have enough food and medicine to live in conditions. He even distributes most of the products from the mine between us. And yet, we can barely afford to buy supplies from the merchants. Is the mine the only source of income you have? Yep, that's right. However, not everyone can work on it. That's why Mora is always looking for people to do that job. Uh, can't you go to another island where you can live in better conditions? Oh, indeed. Many have tried, but our families have been rooted in these lands for generations. And abandoning them is not an easy task. There are people like me who would rather die in this place where they have raised their loved ones than in a distant and unknown land. That's ridiculous. Lysias, first notice. Hmm. Oh, and I'm sorry I can't afford you anything for dinner. As you can see, I spent my last little bit money. You're stupid. Why will you spend it on flowers? No, no. They're giving them everything, right? You know what they're spending it on? Oh, you buy some flowers. Buy fucking food! It's also you who are spending it like you're spending your money on using shit as a flower man. What? It's also your fault. No, do you even have been able to eat today? I'm so sorry for the loss. Has it happened long ago? Loss? What do you mean? Uh, she was my daughter, and I made it. Years ago, the poor woman lost her father in an accident. 
before he was chopping obsidianite. They had a cause for some time the workers to stop extracting minerals and we went through a lot of time of extreme poverty. As a result, my little girl died to famine. Is that how you say it? <laughs> if you hadn't had dinner yet, I have some food that I saved from the trip back tomorrow. It's the least we can do to thank you for your hospitality. But don't worry, I've been through worse situations. I think she's just doing this shit to pity. She's doing this for pity. Everything is to keep the memory of my poor little daughter alive. So, have you bought this show if I was company the photo? What a waste. He endangers his own life by wasting his resources on merely decorative ornaments. Also, if you suffer so much from the loss of your daughter, what is the reason for remembering her every day when you see her image? I think he will be much happier if you got rid of her! Oh my god! You don't fucking say that! Oh, that is so hard to watch, bro. Oh my god. Guys, you, you saw that, right? That is so fucked up of Lucius. Nah, Lucius, Lucius, get the fuck out of here, bro. You don't say that. <laughs> He's like, why are y'all looking at me like that? Uh, Mr. Anthony, why? someone as well because at the start of the game it show a picture of a uh, of some person right and i'm pretty sure he probably went through the same thing so hearing that is probably like it's just insensitive of lucius bro <laughs> all right we'll spend the night outside wait i shouldn't don't follow me <laughs> i'm sorry the two of us will uh also be leaving now come on fioni but no, it's okay, really, really. I had my doubts from the beginning, but seeing that we only speak, I think I'm almost, almost sure that that person who left wasn't human, right? Well, yes, but that's no excuse for what we just did. He, he, reminds me of how Mora used to be a while ago. She was always confused by human behavior, and you, I clearly see in your eyes why you acted like this. You don't have to apologize. You should try to rest. The condition for you to stay the night is all. that you make peace tomorrow, okay? Once again, thank you and sorry. Anthony, Fioni, and the old lady went to sleep. But at midnight, uh, I can't sleep a wink. I would like to apologize to Lucius. I shouldn't have gone so far out of line with what he said. I hope I didn't go too far. You did. <laughs> no, the way he grabbed him and smashed him on the ground was fucking crazy. Nah, bro is a giga chat for sure. Kyle. Kyle. Okay, so that's the name. I was... Well, I said it was... Was that his son or something? Or like a brother? I don't know. Where could Lucius be? Over here? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait I should go behind him, right? Lucius, how are you? Hmm. Well, what a question I asked him for grabbing him and throwing him to the ground. I'm here to apologize. If you don't mind, I'll sit down. Right on the edge. I'm trying not to look down. Yeah, that would be fucking terrified. <laughs> Mr. Rathley, I, I don't understand. Is what I said to the leader wrong? I didn't mean to offend. Why should I lifelong loss consider the matter? Lucius, don't you have anyone who is really precious to you? Someone you will really miss if you lost them. Yes, I suppose there is. And wouldn't you feel sad if that happened? Precisely. In that case, wouldn't it be logical to want to forget it to feel better? Maybe. I'm sure that if it were that easy, many will do that. But would you like to be forgotten if you died? Certainly not me. It will make me feel like I haven't meant anything to anyone's life. What does it matter? I will no longer exist. That that's another that's another thing too, as well, you know? <laughs> like if you're dead, you're not even gonna think about it. You're not even gonna think about it. You'll be like, oh yeah, I'm dead, whatever. Life is short and sometimes we don't appreciate it until we lo lose it. But what will really matters are the memories uh, we create, which last beyond our existence. That's why it matters. Because we all deserve to be the remembered, love and value, even after we are gone. Memories matter, even if even if they're painful. 
Healing matters are inevitable for us. We are human beings after all. We cannot forget, but we can learn to live in memories and find comfort in them. When you said that to the old woman, you were devaluing her daughter's life and belittling the importance it had for her. She was still alive. I understand. I am not human, Mr. Anthony, but I want to learn. As Garden of the Sea, I must watch over both humans and Pokemon. And yet my ignorance hurt someone today. Even you. Me? But it was me who... You know, if I hadn't, I wouldn't have reacted that way. Well, I'm not sure who hurt more in the end, but still, there was no reason to excuse for what I did. So once again, I'm sorry. You always carry many memories of Lamos with you, don't you? Maybe. Now it's really late, you're probably tired, so go back inside to sleep. Will you allow me? Sure, besides Fiona can sleep without you and she doesn't stop pacing around the room. So for your sake and for the sake of my sleeping hours, come back to the house. And because I'm close to getting dizzy. Wait a minute! What? No, it's nothing. Come on, let's go back. Okay! Well, he's not going! He just stood there. He's like, yeah, whatever. <gasps> now another art! Yay! I love when they put art like this, y'all. Don't you like it, Shadow? Like, it's so awesome how they do this. Memories matter. Even if they are painful. What I have for forgotten, perhaps? Da 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 da. Thank you very much for everything. It's nothing really cool luck to mine. Uh, I'll go be the one who has to go to work. I'll help you out. Evo, with all due respect, what good would that do to me? No, man, it means I'm going to help you. Oh, very kind. That will make things easier. And this, I'm sorry for what I said yesterday, man. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't worry, you'll forgive. And also, I think the most effective was your little friend. So what you're thinking? Go ahead. Fiona was very worried. You only didn't know which side to be on because you were both equally stupid. <laughs> like Fiona was like, "Oh, who should I? Who side should I be on?" You <laughs> sure too. I'm sorry, Fiona. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's Moltres. Hello. <clears throat> hey, Mori. I finally decided that I will accompany you. I will help Lucius to finish faster. If he only will also go because he doesn't trust what might happen. As long as you don't expect extra grief for me. By the way, Abu, I know it's the anniversary of, well, you know. I wanted to pour some pretty uh, flowers, but with all those expenses. Oh, well, how many times am I going to have to see apologies today? It's already a detail that you have uh, remembered, Mora. Thank you very much, Willy. You and Flynn get a, get, got along very well with her. He came to leave a boutique yesterday, too. He said he will be busy today. It is much more important that the British does not go hungry. How is business going lately? Uh, well, good. Everything is going great, Abu. That's a lie. Yesterday, he mentioned that. Ah! <laughs> yeah, again! Yeah! He used, like, water gun on his head. Anyway, I'll wait for you at the entrance, okay? Oh, yes. Also, say hello to Flint that lately getting overworked. More than usual, I mean. Hey, but today he shouldn't be in the mine. It's the only vacation that he has all year. Oh, yes, how oh, strange. I could swear that this morning Rogram came out to greet you. Well, the more the merrier. They won't charge him extra either. As I said, talk to me when you're ready to work. Ugh. The truth is that the poor thing is not exactly having a good time lately. Well, we're gonna get back to work, 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 work. What if I try to go back inside? Will there be a dialogue? Oh, I can go inside. Oh, hi, Rocco! They all got bit of fun with slime. Fight the bug, slug. Uh, I like how they're like, shut the fuck up. 